We have to throw out our entire science curriculum. We have to stress principles, concepts. Did you get good grades when you were at high school? I did pretty well, go? yeah, I did all right. Do you think grades are important? I think grades are garbage. Really? Yeah, yeah, totally. Because the way we assess kids over and over again, exam, quiz, exam, as opposed to really seeing if they're absorbing the ideas, if they can take in the information and do something with it, as opposed to just repeat what they did on a homework assignment. I can't stand the way we assess kids. What is the greatest destroyer of scientists known to science? The greatest destroyer of scientists is junior high school. <laughs> you see, we're all born scientists. We're born wondering, where did I come from? Why does the sun shine? Why do the stars twinkle? We're born that way until we hit junior high school. And then it is crushed out of us. All of a sudden, we have to memorize useless facts, figures that don't amount to anything. No, no, because go find people who are successful in this world. Find, you know, talk show hosts and comedians and novelists and attorneys and go get the politician. Put them in a room and say, how many here got straight A's throughout school? None of them are going to raise their hand. By the way, throw in inventors. Throw in all these people. None of them are going to raise their hand. Okay? So uh, Bill Gates dropped out of college. Uh, 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 Michael Dell dropped out of college. Those people are not, the success of those people is not measured by how they perform on the exam that you wrote as professor. Because they're, they're thinking in ways that you have yet to think. Because they're inventing tomorrow. Pride apart the atom and been able to understand its constituents with absolutely fantastic precision. This is fantastic material. This is material to die for. And yet, if it's taught in a way that we usually teach it, where we focus in so quickly on the details in order to get kids to be able to you know, solve the equation, know the parts of the cell, balance the reaction, without a commensurate focus on the big wondrous ideas. It was a society in decline. It was decaying. All the best minds were no longer going into engineering and, and chemistry and physics. Uh, the best minds were going into uh, the, the London Stock Exchange. They were learning how to massage other people's money rather than create wealth, create chemical factories and new inventions. But yes, there are some people who resist the insights of science. And I think a lot of this has to do with how we teach science to young kids Right? Say that when I was at school it was very similar and I, I think it's partly that science is treated very much as a practical subject or certainly was, what I've what I mentioned before in Calvary Bunsen Burner. Um, it was thought you had to get your hands dirty all the time, which is on Facebook that's how you can order from the Get a date. All of a sudden, the hormones are kicking in. So it's difficult. And then in high school, you have this pyramid. This pyramid where you have the beautiful people on top, the jocks and the cheerleaders. I have nothing against them, but there is a pyramid in high school immortalized by Hollywood movies. But Hollywood never tells you that as soon as you graduate from high school, that pyramid turns upside down. They never tell you that. <laughs>